uploaded uh will come back to accounting space uh, in this video we want to look at the calculation of percentage of completion of contracts so uh, we've got a question three here that we want to look at as you see some brands contractors going on two contracts during the year namely the bupelo contract and the butmelo contract the contract is about uh building two public hospitals in Kingalanga. So I will give you the following information was extracted from their books regarding these contracts. So we have got uh, a column for Bupelo and then the column for Butumelo, which is uh which are being given there, and then we're given the list of information that we need there. Then uh believe that now uh, we are only uh, going to uh, look at a uh, question 3.2 in particular for this video. So we are saying uh, we are going to look at uh, 3.2. And it is calculate the percentage of completion for both contracts using certified work as basis. So uh, certified work is the key uh, term that we have in that uh, question. So uh, we need to use uh, the certified work as our basis. So basically, we are going to use our certified work as the numerator. So uh, we go to our other section and try to bring down the formula first uh, before we start to answer. So uh, remember, we are looking at uh, question 3.2 and we are saying uh, 3.2. So we are going to say uh, to calculate a percentage of completion. Uh, we are going to say uh, our percent our, our certified work as a numerator. Uh, uh, certified work becomes the numerator, and then we uh, take our contract total contract price as the denominator. So uh, we can uh, try to uh, just uh, present it as such. So let's just try to see. So we are saying uh, our 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 total contract price now uh, is our uh, denominator. So here we are saying uh, total. whereby the total contract price also, we are going to say uh, the price that we are given uh, there plus uh, extra, extras uh, that we are also given, then we give again the total contract price. So in other words, we are saying uh, we have got our contract price here. We are saying contract price, and then we add uh, the, extras, the extras figure that we have here. So obviously we can just try to uh, bring it down as a, as a formula again, uh, of finding our to our total contract price. So uh, total contract price, uh, we are saying total contract price uh, is going to be equal to the contract price. And then we add, uh, we add the excess So uh, this is the formula that we are going to find the, the total contract price. So basically, that's what we have. So uh, we're going to start by, uh, I remember we have got uh, Bupelo as the first one. So we are going to start by taking the figures for Bupelo, whereby we are saying uh, for Bupelo, uh, we are saying a uh, certified week, we have got 1 million here. A uh, certified week, uh, let's just indicate it here as our 1 million. And then we have our uh, the contract price we are going to say uh, this is going to be the denominator at uh, two billion five hundred thousand uh, plus our extras fifty thousand to get the total contract price. So we are our numerator is going to be one million. So as as, as that we now go and present there. We are just substituting to the figures that we have there. So what we are saying here we are saying certified work uh, we got it as one million, and then we say it's over. Uh, over our total contract price, whereby we are saying um, the figure that we have there is two million five hundred thousand for our contract price. So two million five hundred thousand is this contract price plus uh, the figure for extras that we got there was uh, fifty million fifty thousand. Sorry, and then we get your fifty thousand there. And then obviously, uh, in terms of uh, the presentation uh, of our answer, it's supposed to be a percentage. So it means uh, on our formula there, we are also going to say times 100 over 1, so that we present it uh, as a percentage. So we come in, uh, we also uh, multiply by 
100 over 1. So we are here, we are saying 10 is 100 over 1. So this is what we have. And then we try to simplify it further now. It becomes 1 million. Uh, we divide by, uh, say 2 million 500,000 plus, plus 50,000. We get it 2 million 550,000. And then we multiply by 100 over 1. And then uh, we we'll try to calculate it and see that uh, the answer that we going to get is 39.2156. Uh, uh, and then obviously uh, you round it off to the nearest uh, round, to the nearest whole number here, which is going to be uh, 39.2156. 39, uh, 39%. So obviously we now say uh, as our answer. It's equal to our tape nine. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. this one is the percentage again. So our final answer now uh, to the nearest uh, one number there becomes a uh, tape nine percent. So this is what we have in terms of the calculation of percentage of completion of the pillow. And obviously, we have the second part whereby we are now calculating for the two men. So we are now saying uh, second part is uh, two men. So on between law, now we are still using the same formula where they are saying uh, this uh, certified weight over over total contract price. So we go to the other to the question part and try to see those figures whereby we are saying certified weight is given there. Uh certified weight will come here is one million eight hundred thousand, and then for our total contract price, we are saying contract price which is three million uh three million six hundred thousand. And then we get our 75,000 for extras to get your total uh, contract price. So uh, we go down. Uh, we go down. Now we are seeing um, for our numerator, remember we got 1,800,000. And then we divide uh, by, uh, to get total contract price, we are saying 3,600,000. And then we get was seventy five thousand. And then uh the answer that we are supposed to get here you multiply by a uh, hundred over one. So obviously here the simplified fair that it becomes one million eight hundred thousand. Uh and then you say over uh we as a denominator three million six hundred thousand plus seventy five thousand it becomes three million six hundred seventy five thousand and then we multiply by hundred over one simplify to fail that there you see that um uh, the final answer that we are supposed to get there is equal to uh it's equal to forty eight point nine seven percent uh round it off with nearest one number it becomes a uh, forty nine percent. So uh, this is uh, the calculation that we have. So this is what we get according to the calculation of percentage of completion of contract. Uh, let's say to more videos to come. Let's subscribe and say, let's share the link to our colleagues who are doing financial accounting, who are doing cost and management accounting in six. Uh, as for this video, I'm sending out. Let's meet again in the next video.